Hey friends, this week we're going to learn about a really cool artist from Brooklyn named Kimmy Cantrell. So Kimmy Cantrell is a famous African-American artist who lives in Brooklyn, New York. He loved making art when he was in school, but when he graduated, he forgot about his art and became a businessman for 20 years. One day he decided to start making art again and he remembered how fun it was. He began making lots and lots of art, like you see here, and he hasn't stopped since. So here's a picture of him right here. This is his super cool abstract art. We actually looked at it last week. Here's some other examples of his artwork. So he created abstract faces out of clay, and then he painted them right colors. The faces are asymmetrical, which means they're different on both sides. What types of shapes and colors do you see in these abstract faces? You can see he titled them different names. So Kimmy Cantrell gets his ideas by looking at African masks. Masks are one of Africa's most admired and well-known art forms. Mask making is a respected skill and tradition that is typically passed down within a family over many generations. Mask making is a craft that has existed for thousands of years. Today, masks are still used by some traditional cultures for tribal events like weddings, funerals, or spiritual celebrations. The masks are worn by dancers as part of a costume for the ceremony. Have you ever seen an African mask? Here are some examples here. And so these African masks look very symmetrical, right? They're the, they're the same on both sides, but Kimmy Cantrell's version, it's a little bit different, right? He was inspired by these. So, here are some more examples here. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna draw versions of our own um, abstract faces, just like Kimmy Cantrell. Okay, so let's see if we can create an abstract face inspired by the artist Kimmy Cantrell, who is inspired by African masks. So this one I just completed. Um, you can see how I just drew an outline and then separated the inside of the face with different colors, okay? Um, I also just did this one, which you can see is similar but different, right? Because I use different types of shapes, okay? But it's the same idea. I'm going to demonstrate how to do another one. I'm also going to show you how to create this cool gradient um, in the eyes or anywhere else you might want to use uh, this gradient technique in your drawing. Okay. So I just grabbed a few crayons here. I grabbed a few different colors, like a red magenta, a sky blue, yellow, a dark purple, a brown, a black. And um, I'm going to suggest that you draw your face, your abstract face, with a marker or something dark to create your outline. And then you fill in the shapes with either crayons or colored pencils or something else. But you can use whatever you have. However you do it, it's gonna still be fabulous. Okay. So remember, you can draw yours any way that you like. I'm just showing you one way to do it. You wanna make your face, your abstract face, nice and big on the page want to fill up the whole page. You don't want a tiny face like that. Okay. So now that you have some type of shape for the head, then you're going to start blocking off um, different areas. Okay. So let's now put a long line where the nose would be. Now remember this is abstract, so it's not going to be realistic. Gonna look like a long rectangle, 
which kind of separates this part of the face and that part. So I'm gonna put a small shape on this side. Okay, then I'm gonna do a line from here over here. Now, Kimmy Cantrell's faces that he creates are asymmetrical, meaning that they're not the same on both sides. Most people's faces in real life are the same on both sides, but his are abstract. So it's gonna look very different on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna do the top eyelid. And then the bottom. And then I'm gonna draw, then I'm gonna draw the inside of the eye. Do the other one, two curved lines like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw a small line coming down from here and I'm going to draw the lips, which is kind of like the top is gonna look kind of like the letter M, like that. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a straight line in the middle. And then another curved line at the bottom. Okay. Let's add some ears. Okay, so now that we have the basic um, facial features like the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, now we can add some smaller shapes. Um, please go back and look at the slides uh, to look at Kimmy Cantrell's artwork um, to get ideas, okay? Because all the masks that um, he creates are different. So there's a lot of variety uh, to look at, to get your inspiration from. You can pick out your favorite one and get ideas from that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a line like this. What type of shapes would you like to add in yours? You can add some circles. Maybe you like to add hearts. You can add some zigzag lines. I think I'm gonna separate chin here. I really like the way it looks when with the one earring. I noticed that one of his masks um, had one earring on. I thought that looked really cool. Maybe I'm gonna add some curved lines like this, but you make yours however you want. Maybe some smaller circles inside. All right, so I feel like we have a lot of shapes. Um, and then now, since we have all of our outlines and shapes, now we can start adding color. Okay, so I told you that I was gonna show you how to do this cool gradient, right? So I did this with um, using two different crayons. You could also do it using colored pencils, okay? So how I'm gonna start this is I'm gonna use my yellow. Um, you could use any light color that you have, okay? So first thing, I'm gonna fill in the eyes with the yellow. And then I'm gonna take this brown. You can use any color you like. Um, it's good to use one light color and one darker color. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add this other color around the outside. 
So watch how I do it. You see how you can blend them together? Now you can do this with paint, but you can also just do it with a crayon or colored pencil. And so I'm pressing harder with the crayon on the outside. And as I come up, I'm pressing, I'm, I'm not pressing as hard. So the color is lighter. And you see how that blends together? I think that's a really cool effect. Definitely takes practice, so just try your best if you feel like it. Okay, doesn't that look cool? All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill in these different shapes, okay? Any colors that you like. Um, I like this purple. Um, maybe I'm gonna start with this long shape here. You're gonna wanna try to stay in the lines of the shapes that you drew. Um, and then you can use that same color. Choose another place on the face to add that color, like maybe over here. You're not gonna wanna like color the whole thing like this. You're gonna want to pick and choose which shapes you wanna fill in. And you want each side of the face to be different. Okay, now maybe I might use this color. Okay, you see how this is one big shape here? Then you're going to fill in the shapes. Please feel free to pause this video so you can catch up or rewind. So I filled in that whole area with this uh, teal color. All right, now I might go to the other side and fill in like these rectangles up here with that color. So you're gonna repeat these steps with any of the colors that you choose um, and you're just gonna fill in all the different shapes that you created. Okay, so you're gonna finish adding all your color. And then when you're done, you're going to want to create a background. Okay, so do you see on this one, I used that same method where I picked two different colors and I blended them in the center. Okay, so that's what I did on this one. Now, if you happen to have scissors and glue and a grown up at home that doesn't mind helping you out with this, there's another step that you could do where you could cut out the face completely and put it on a piece of paper like this, okay? So you could either draw your background like that or you could cut it out and glue it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick how that might look, all right? So, Please only use scissors with the help of a grown-up. I know if we were in school together, we would be carefully doing this step together. So this part is optional. paper, colored paper, to um, put your abstract face onto. Doesn't that look so cool? I also really love using um, old artwork to use as backgrounds. Um, something like this 
like a if you have like an old painting or something that you did you could use that as a colorful background doesn't that look cool or this is like a black and white one that looks really cool too doesn't it so say that i'm going to use the solid one or no actually let's see okay i'm gonna use the solid one and so i'm just gonna use this glue stick that i have and I'm going to go along the edge, okay, like this. If you have liquid glue, that will work too. If you're using liquid glue, you just need a few dots along the edge like this, okay? You don't need to cover the whole back with it, okay? You just want to go around the edges. There you go. And there we have our Kimmy Cantrell inspired face. All right, good luck. I can't wait to see what you guys create.